Hi there. Hi, this is Liz Davis. I am a nutritionist and I specialize in digestive health for busy women. So I help busy women fix their digestive problems, their IBS, bloating, heartburn, um, etc, etc. And I use state of the art gut testing to try and get some gut answers for you and then use um, directed supplement programs and dietary upgrades to really restore your factory settings, get things functioning properly in the gut department as they should be. Um, so today I was going to share a, um, a technique that you can use to really, um, to really help not only your gut problems, but um, any symptoms you've got really. And that is to use herbs and spices in your cooking and generally as much as you can, as often as you can, and I'll just give you a quick rundown of the different sorts of herbs and spices, what they're good for and how you can use them, etc. So, in you know, in some really kind of simple ways that you can start kind of putting into practice straight away. Um, so different herbs and spices, obviously, they support your health and your digestion in many, many different ways. So, for example, they can increase bile production. They can help to alleviate gas and bloating. Um, all sorts of things. They can soothe your gut lining and your gut lining is implicated in so many different um, conditions as well. So they really are a very, very healthful addition. I mean, they're powerhouses of nutrition, really. They've got all sorts of beneficial um, sort of components to them, if you like. So they are really a useful thing to have on board. So I'll just give you a quick rundown then of a few of my favorite ones and how I use them. And um, so there'll be something there for you to take away today that you can start implementing right away. OK, so the first one I would look at is fennel. Fennel is fantastic. If you've ever been on holiday to Asia or you live in Asia or anything, then you'll be very familiar with the fennel seeds and the aniseed, which is served up after your main meals, usually. So they provide this after your meal so you can chew on it and then it really helps to get those digestive juices flowing properly and um, you know really help to you know get things moving properly so you may find it easier to um, instead of actually chewing on the seeds directly you may find it easier to say use a tea for example um, the tea is available everywhere and also use the fennel bulbs as well so Fennel bulbs are great, they're very versatile. You can use them in your cooking, slice them up, put them in anything really. So the fennel seeds are thought to be antifungal, they're antibacterial, uh, and they're anti-inflammatory as well. So that's a really, really simple addition to your diet that you can use quite easily and get all those benefits straight away. Um, as I say, helps with gassiness, any sort of upset stomach or anything like that. Um, so really, you know, very, very beneficial indeed. My next favourite one is chamomile. I always keep chamomile um, at home, several boxes of it dotted all around the place, boxes of tea. And it's uh, it's just super for so many things because mainly it's very, very relaxing. It's well known for being very relaxing, but it's also very good for digestion as well. It can get any trapped gas moving, any bloating moving along. It's superb for that. I find if I have just three small cups of chamomile tea, it's really fabulous for any kind of gut problems or anything like that, as well as being relaxing. So half the time, I think when we get very tense, it tends to make things feel a lot worse. And also it'll help you sleep, help you get a good night's sleep as well, and really calm down and settle the whole system that will help to do all that. So again, a fabulous one just to be having all the time. Um, it's been proven in animal studies to be um, highly anti-inflammatory. It's been proven to be very, um, very good for um, stopping diarrhea and um, inhibiting the development of stomach ulcers as well. So that's a, a fascinating thing that they've discovered. So yeah, a really beneficial one to have on board. My next favourite one is ginger. Um, ginger is well known for being very useful for combating nausea, a super for morning sickness, for travel sickness, any kind of anything associated with nausea, really. So you can either use the bulb, chop up the bulb and use it um, in your cooking or use it as an infusion and drink it. 
pour hot water over it and use it like that. Um, you can use dry ginger in cooking. And again, you can buy uh, tea bags as well with ginger in. And um, so that's just, you know, an easier way of, of having it really. Um, again, I think pucker herbs do a really nice ginger tea or a really nice ginger blend. So that's worth keeping an eye open for. The next one, I think the star of the spice, the healthy spice show has got to be turmeric. Turmeric is absolutely superb for health. It's highly, highly anti-inflammatory. It does work exceptionally well. Use it liberally in your cooking. Um, put it in and everything. Put it in your rice. Put it in your curries everywhere. Um, you can make turmeric milk. Um, it's a nice one, nice creamy milk to have in the in the winter time as well. If you put a bit of black pepper with it, that really helps it to be absorbed very well. And um, Pucker again, I think do a nice turmeric tea. Um, you can supplement it as well. If you've got a lot of information going on, the supplements are very, very effective. And um, yeah. In everything, I absolutely love cumin. Um, it's fabulous for indigestion. It really revs up your digestive process, um, gets the digestive enzymes um, flowing properly and um, it, again it will increase the production of bile so if you're struggling with fatty foods and eating fatty foods that should help you a lot there um, you know if you get that kind of uncomfortable feeling afterwards um, so people with IBS have reported feeling a lot better when they supplement with cumin mm. and so it's definitely something worth hanging on to having in the cupboard um, you know, to really help you with your digestive processes there. All the green leafy herbs are fabulous too. So your basil, your coriander, parsley. Coriander is brilliant. It's a, one of my absolute favourites. Um, you can keep the, the plants on your windowsill if you like. Just chop them up and add them to salads. They're absolutely delicious. It's a great detoxifier. Um, uh, wild garlic as well, lots of wild garlic around at the moment. So you can make lovely wild garlic pestos, add those to your food. All those are fantastic. Parsley is great for your immunity and um, very, very simple to use as well. Um, so you might have noticed that a lot of these spices are traditionally served with foods that are hard to digest. So you often see spices served with, um, as part of dishes like curries and chilies. And that is because they will actually help your gut to digest those sort of much harder to digest foods. So traditionally, that would have been why they were paired together, because they actually are um, beneficial in helping you digest harder to digest foods. So if you do struggle with um, things like lentils and beans, it's worth, you know, adding a bit of um, spice to it and herbs to it. See if that really helps you to um, to digest. Obviously, don't start eating tons of that kind of food but a little bit here and there and just test the water and see what happens um so there you go that's some essential herbs and spices use them as you want to fresh dried is all good as teas is brilliant any way that suits you really that you can get them into your diet is um is the best way forward okay so if you would like to speak to me then do use the link below to book into my diary for a quick chat so i can find out more about what you've got going on um and also if you fancy downloading my free program i'll put a link to that in the chat as well so do download that if you think you would find it useful okay i shall see you soon bye